is what are the strategies you can implement during an out of season products? Good question. And I will give you a pro tip of our learning that we had with a client. Um, because really when it comes to out of season, run it for profitability. Don't try and push. So here's the school of thought. And then I'll let you know the test that we ran and now what we're doing now. Okay. So some of the school of thought has been like, Hey, if we are off season, does it make sense for us to push for product rankings on our, you know, on the keywords that I want to rank on during the peak season, because then, you know, I can already have some momentum and I can capitalize off of that when the traffic hits on Amazon. Short answer is no, that's actually not a good strategy. So we had a particular client. Um, he has a very giftable product. There's like a very short window. Mother's Day absolutely crushes it for him. And he's also probably one of our funnest clients to work with because he loves running an aggressive test. He is on it. He knows what he wants to happen. The partnership has been fun phenomenal. And we have consequently gotten some insane results for him. However, what we did one year is we wanted to like aggressively push. So the thought process was exactly what I just shared. Hey, we're headed into season. We need to be able to push the products. The thing that we found is when we push the products too soon, we ended up with things being very unprofitable because the sales weren't there. So total A cost is ad spend divided by total sales. If you push ad spend, but then total sales aren't yet coming up because there's not enough shop or search, conversion rates aren't as good, then you end up with just a really unprofitable account. So that didn't work. So basically what happened is we hit it, sales during the peak season of Mother Day, phenomenal, insane, through the roof. However, when we were analyzing sort of the entire you know, all of our ad spend for like an extended period, we were seeing like, oh, basically all of the profits that were gained during the peak season were offset by all of our losses because we started being aggressive too soon. And so here's what we did later on. And like, oh my goodness, strategy is amazing. So love Helium 10, use them. One of the things that they have is a historic graph on the search volume trends for a keyword. So we did was we identified our top keywords and we looked at the historic search volume trends and gauged when we started to see the sale or the search term increases. And what we did is we hit it within 24 to 48 hours. We started pushing exactly when that increase started to happen. So we hit it nail on the head because conversion rates are increasing, because search volume is increasing, because sales are increasing. That means as we got more aggressive, the sales trend also trended up. Great total A costs, insanely good results with sales, worked phenomenal. So what I would say is if a product is off season, don't fight it, optimize for it, and then know when your peak season is, know what your top keywords are, watch those search volume trends and anticipate the uplift and basically ride that wave on the um, increases.